the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Most believers do not know that when it has to do with manifesting results on earth here, whether it is um, in the area of finances, in the area of your spiritual growth, in the area of ministry, career, whatever it is, that the way God designed this system, it says the heaven of heavens belong to God. It says, but the earth has he given to the sons of men you know what that means that means i taught you here that the dominion of the believer is shared dominion remember we discussed this when we were dealing with intercession last week that the heaven of heavens belong to the lord but the earth he has given to the sons of men that means for anything to happen in the earth realm please pay attention there has to be a union of heaven and earth are we together when jesus wanted to come as the word made flesh he did not just take a decision from heaven alone there had to be a participatory work here on earth at least we know people like anna the prophetess mary had to donate her womb joseph had to be there to there were many people who played roles otherwise jesus would not have arrived the idea listen to me the deceptive idea that anything god wants can happen as a way of honoring his sovereignty you are right but as far as manifesting realities is concerned you are very wrong you know because we know that god is sovereign and you are right it is within his power if god vetoes man he's still not wrong because he is god are we together but he has chosen according to his wisdom and his predeterminate counsel to make man have to participate in everything that happens on earth so when it has to do with manifestations it is not all up to god and it is not all up to man there is a role that god has to play there is a role that man has to play ignoring and neglecting your role as a man in hope that god is mighty and he will make things happen may be one of the explanations behind the frustration of many believers you hear sayings like one day go better have you heard it that is a very bad way of thinking it may be a sociological way of deriving comfort in the presence of failure but i guarantee you hoping that one day things will arbitrarily change is is a total waste of time it takes a foolish farmer who will get up by september and go to one of our farms in the suburbs in abuja you see him with a car a tractor and different bags where are you going to i'm going to harvest something and you say oh really you didn't tell me you planted you say i hope i know that the way rain fell i can guarantee that there is corn for me now think how intelligent that person is does that sound smart and yet that is the exact same thing people do about life they get up and say god loves me too much to allow me suffer and we drag spiritual and emotional bags and we stand in the middle of nowhere hoping for a bumper harvest when it has to do let me teach you this again when it has to do with your life and destiny listen to me you have an active role to play an active role to play the challenge usually is the confusion between the idea of grace and faith the subject of grace if not properly communicated would lead people into laziness 
because of the awareness of a concept called the finished work of christ and that is a fact based on scripture it is not a lie but then most people do not understand what the grace of god is i've done teachings on that and i hope that we'll be able to touch a bit on it but maybe just for a minute or two let me talk a bit about it. you see the grace that most people talk about in the body of christ is only one dimension of grace grace like wisdom is multi-dimensional are we together now yes wisdom is not just unidimensional wisdom has different facets for instance divine direction is a subset of wisdom divine strategy is a subset of wisdom so when you say you have wisdom we must vet what dimension of it so also grace the dimension of grace that most people talk about is called saving grace there are different kinds of dimensions of grace there is the grace that saves is that true yes and then there is what we call enabling or empowering grace that grace does not do for you it rather empowers you to do with a strength that is not yours it is still grace so the idea that the only dimension of grace that is there is that jesus has finished everything just receive it by saying i receive it's not um those who communicate these things are sincere people don't get me wrong and what they are saying is not a lie it's only that there needs to be completion to it because many believers have tried it and it has not worked are we together now so when you talk about saving grace the the if i will use that expression the freest of all the graces is saving grace because that one is the finished work but you sit down there and don't confess your sins and don't open up to jesus and you see that you will go to hellfire is that true you still have a role to play to hear the word and take a step of faith come and stand before jesus and make that declaration according to romans 10 8 to 10 then you are saved here's my definition of grace generally speaking every good and perfect gift that comes from above listen carefully given to the saints and access only through the office of the christ is called grace every good and perfect gift that comes from above for the benefit or the blessings of the saints but it is only routed through the office of the christ that means you cannot access it except through christ here's how the bible puts it ephesians what now is it three that god has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ this is a definition of grace blessed be god and father of our lord jesus christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings that is the definition of grace all spiritual blessings but they reside in heavenly places and are routed to the saints through the office of the christ you cannot access that spiritual blessing ignoring the office of jesus the christ of god are we together so wisdom generally speaking wisdom is grace faith is grace are you seeing that now power is grace everything that comes from god through christ to man is qualified to be called grace so it does not just mean unmerited access when you ask the average believer define grace he will say unmerited access that is only one dimension in fact i i let me tell you sincerely the the word unmerited is not very accurate it is only unmerited when you are talking about saving grace in that we cannot save ourselves are we together now yes we cannot save ourselves so jesus christ does the whole work for us in what we call theologically speaking his substitutionary sacrifice and then we receive it by faith the bible says you are saved by grace through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god you know not of works lest any man should boast the works there is the work of the cross not the work of believing there is a labor dimension to faith so many believers 
have found an excuse to live defeated lives because they believe that everything it is just it is if god wants to give me he will give me if god does not give me it means it is not for me it's not true are we together a coronation service was held in honor of jesus when he resurrected but he had to go to heaven before he could sit on that throne he did not just appear he went literally and sat down the lord said to my lord sit down and he sat down and the coronation service was held for him until today jesus the epitome of grace is still making intercession yet he was the one who said it is finished so what is he interceding for jesus is seated at the right hand today he's not just gisting and say bring me food angels you don't know what i suffered with this evil man for 33 years he's making intercession for the saints the recipients of that finished work he's still making intercession listen 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 understand it don't don't sit down there's no tell them uh, uh, by the way let me use this opportunity to let me use this opportunity to correct something listen please please listen jokes apart we are responsible people and i know that there are shouts of joy and victory sometimes when we are preaching people enjoy what god is saying and they open their hearts but please let us minimize irresponsible distractions are we together please i'm saying this for visitors and people when you come to koinonia listen to the word if there's something to shout about you will most likely not be the only person shouting but the moment you are making noise and distracting people please let it be known to you that it may be a distraction and we love you but we may not appreciate that that is something that i think we should learn there must be discipline in the house of god are we together please we're not watching a movie this is jesus speaking to us so we must be very disciplined sometimes there are people of course neighbors may not have the courage to tell you look you are this i'm not following what they are saying but I, it's my responsibility and under god i am saying this please let it be a practice when there is something to shout and laugh and rejoice we do it with joy and there are times individuals who honestly receive the word i'm not saying to feel embarrassed you know with your expressions but you know the kind of shout that is inspired by the spirit and there is a kind of shout that is just is is, is a distraction praise the lord do we have do we have that now please so when we come to the house of god let's be orderly let's be orderly when you go to see a president or you go to see someone you don't misbehave in the office you behave well let's respect jesus and respect his house it's a place of joy and liberty but it's not a place of foolishness we must let the world know that we are saved to be wise are we together praise the lord i just thought to use this opportunity and just quickly bring that in so we're discussing the subject of grace are we together let's go back to faith really that's what we're talking about four times in scripture as you know let's run through it very quickly the bible talks about the just living by faith number one habakkuk chapter two and verse four media let's work together habakkuk two and verse four it says but the just shall live by his faith the just shall live by his faith romans 1 17 the just shall live by his faith it says for therein is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith the first scripture for reference galatians 3 11 galatians chapter 3 and verse 11 it says but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of god it is evident for the just shall live by faith then the last scripture hebrews 10 38 hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38 now the just shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him so four times in scripture cutting across the old and the new testament the bible tells us that when it has to do with living the just lives by faith hallelujah and then in romans chapter 10 and verse 19 romans 10 and verse 19 tells us now that this faith that the just lives by 
did i get that romans please find it for me faith cometh by hearing huh 17 thank you you correct it just right romans 10 17 so then faith comet somebody say faith comet that means before faith arrives it is not there and when faith comes you will know it is that true faith comet and that the technology is that by hearing and hearing by the word of god faith comet by hearing and hearing by the word of god don't assume you understand what i'm saying please pay attention god is teaching us this we're discussing the subject of commanding the supernatural so that you will understand this for yourself and then you can help another believer too to command very very supernatural dimensions of results if you're in agreement say amen, amen. everything the believer does in this kingdom is faith dependent faith dependent every victory that we will ever get and walk in the experience of is faith dependent now as you've heard me say i'm going to repeat it again and i want you to listen very carefully this time that faith is predicated on two main attributes of god please write it down bible faith is predicated on two attributes of god there are two attributes of god that are responsible for producing faith in the believer faith that works faith that moves mountains are you ready number one his integrity his integrity his integrity his integrity numbers 23 and verse 19 numbers 23 and verse 19 god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent read with me had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good that means this is the reason why you can trust god that the moment he says a thing then expect that there will be a performance the moment he speaks a thing there will be a doing connected to it are we together genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 we are examining the integrity of god as one of the platforms for producing bible faith and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he had spoken verse 2 it says for sarah conceived and bare abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which god had spoken to him hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 but without faith please look up it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must believe that he exists the word he is there means he exists and then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him say hallelujah. hallelujah that means when we seek him we don't seek him in vain he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him his integrity the word integrity is very important because it comes from the word integer sameness consistency predictability as within so without that is the the essence of the word integrity god has integrity are we together yes
tomorrow is valentine <sighs> i'm just informing you and um there are people who because of the reality of the burden that the season demands can go so far to invent all kinds of skills to lie and say i'm in lagos whereas they are here or all kinds of things they don't have to be evil they are men they do not have integrity are we together for it's just an example don't harass anybody don't tempt me to say anything about valentine i intend to just let it lie there praise god integrity we live in a world today where people have made all kinds of promises is that true and have not been able to keep it and if we are to be honest with ourselves all of us at one point or the other have been victims of this there is something you once said that you probably did not do not because you did not want to do it probably you told a family i am coming to visit you and your flights did not leave on time it does not matter what the excuse is with respect to that performance it is still not a show of integrity but the bible says god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent do you know what that means when god is determined to say or do something concerning your life you can take that word that means listen most times we speak you know one of the principles of integrity is the second one that i'm going to talk about they are interconnected you must check your ability before you speak is one of the principles of integrity if I stand and I'm motivated and I go somewhere where there is a building project and they are looking for 10 billion for the building project and I'm excited because of how they clap for me and I just stand there irrationally speaking like many people do and I say on behalf of myself and Koinonia we donate 4 billion naira. You'll be looking at me while I'm talking. <laughs> Believing I know what I'm saying. Are we together? And I now go back and the organizers call and say, we thank you so much. So uh, how is the transfer going to be made? Is it going to be just a single transfer? We are happy for this. And I said, don't worry. Uh, now I begin to think, how will I make this thing happen? You see, I may be sincere, but it is not integrity. I'm explaining something to you so you understand. God does not speak and go back biting his finger to say, I said too much. No. If God looks at you and says, this year, you must rise. That word, Harakatusiata. Mm. Listen, listen. There are no guarantees in life. Honestly, believe me when I tell you this. God will send you to do things and he will send you to places that don't have any human guarantee. The guarantee is the word he gave you. And the person who gave you that word when God told me to come to Abuja here there was no, nobody signed any form to say you just come we'll support you no God said it I trust you we die there you see that listen this is the character of faith most people do not know God will never tell you what you can do he will never tell you what is possible before your eyes God will speak to you like he's speaking to himself in fact one of the ways you can verify it is God speaking is that it must be a mountain bigger than you if God tells you something that is so easy within your reach go back to bed and pray again you had a demon not God listen God will speak to you as a kingdom financier and while you have just five ten million in your account home and abroad god is going to be saying write the list of mission agencies that you are going to be building houses for them and you are writing and feeling stupid that you are hearing god you regret 
pressing into clarity of hearing because now you don't have an excuse to say it's not god you are hearing and you write out over 30 40 50 mission agencies and god says a time will come soon when you will be giving them at least a million dollars every year and while you are writing there you are laughing at yourself your wife comes to check what you're writing you cover it because you know that if she sees that thing hear me you are writing it knowing that the one who speaks does not have a future there is nothing like future with god so he's not waiting to see he has already listen if god speaks every mechanism to be put in place to make sure that word comes to pass if you understand his ways it's already there one of the ways you know that your season is ready is when god speaks god does not speak when things are not ready i've taught you this maybe not in abuja i hope that we'll have the time to discuss it to know that the voice of silence is the voice of god too when god is not talking he's saying something you need to understand the language of silence are we together there are many of us right now who have plans and goals and visions that from a human standpoint when you look at it as a january god told you you will celebrate christmas in your own house this is february already you are laughing because the investment you were hoping will work you've not heard from them and it looks like what you are hearing is not very the bank is not the bank is not cooperating with you when he said that you said amen because someone was going to buy a property under your care and you were hoping 10 percent from buyer and seller will come you see the thing about god is god speaks in a way that nothing around you nothing around you will attempt to replace him if there is something that he can ease that can easily take his place he will not speak <laughs> i know what i'm saying no his integrity now listen how are you sure that i don't have some money in my pocket maybe i have something maybe a hundred dollars a hundred naira something in my pocket if i say come and collect it and you are you are looking at the signs to check whether is there any shape of money or whatever it is that's already unbelief because you will not get anything that way remember what james said let that man not think he will get anything from god i'm just giving you an example all right if i tell you come leave your job let me make it serious leave your job leave everything and come to me here and i will give you something from this pocket now that can build you a house buy you a car and sort you for the rest of your life it's just an example if i ask you come let me give you something you will eat with today it makes sense because notes are usually flat and small but i say leave your job come and stand and let me put my hand in this flat pocket and give you something that you will use for the rest of your life you will most likely not believe it but that is the character of faith before you focus on what god is saying focus on who is talking are we together see god is mighty I, i'm praying for you that every unbelief that makes you believe god is small every unbelief that makes you think god is a joker or he's praying april fool with you i pray that it will live your life now in the name of jesus christ I have seen God do things in this small life I have seen God move in ways that no human explanation would suffice I have seen God do things in my life I have seen God do things in this ministry that at the time he said it it did not make sense but total dependence on his word ah. God is speaking to you tonight. He has told you many things that don't look impossible. 
that all that don't look possible i want you to stand and trust him he's told you mother that before you go to be with the lord you will see god lift your children and as it is none of them seems to be showing any signs of a visionary life i want you to trust that word and trust the one speaking i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that babu wanika marka i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that babu wanika marka yeah. Babu wani kamarka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamarka Babu wani kamarka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamarka Lord I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that listen i was in cameroon last year when this song came it was in the morning i was meditating on the faithfulness of god on this subject of faith this is the first time we're singing it here i'm sure soon this my people will find a way and sing it I was meditating on everything God began to tell me. Usually I travel and I travel with my notebooks. Notebooks of 10, 15 years. And I open those rough notebooks and I see some of the things. And usually when I write what God said, I put dates. And I'm looking at some of those things. And I said, ah, that was when this song came. That I've searched and searched. Let me tell you this. Never laughed at a man that God has spoken to you will bite your fingers in shame for the rest of your life you may see a woman now you may see mama now you may see that preacher two members know nothing if god has spoken i want you to clear the way because you are about to write another epistle of god's wonder and faithfulness there are some of you seated here the call of god is upon your life you are still in your season of training don't be intimidated by the enormity of the call don't ask where the money will come from don't ask where the anointing will come from but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able god has integrity god has integrity god has integrity he can be depended upon listen to me time will fail me to tell you things that god said would happen in my life would happen in this ministry that made no sense whatsoever as at the time he said it bible faith is not just based on a verse of scripture it's based on a recognition many people have disappointed you in your life they've said things i will help you i will give you a job come by january or february you are used to disappointments and you have added god in the list when god speaks he his voice is sounding to you like that politician who deceived you his voice is sounding to you like no the king of the universe has integrity This is the reason why we can tell the whole world come and hear his counsel as he has given us and we know they will hear because he asks them to hear can i tell you this many of you are unable to move in your life god has told you that house will be built but you are sitting and wondering all of the connections you think will help you build the house have failed and you are sitting there saying god will you do it can i tell you this there is something about believing god even when you don't understand him let your mind catch up later on but for now i believe you shake away that unbelief shake away that unbelief 
you are not the first to be a millionaire you are not the first for god to lift you are not the first person god is speaking to the bible is full of men and women who god spoke to them ask abraham gideon was hiding in judges chapter 6 hiding when god met him and told him he said why are you hiding gideon and he said why wouldn't i hide where are the miracles come out of that place of hiding you are going to defeat the midianites the bible says gideon blew a trumpet and 30,000 people came god said it's too much this is not how i walk reduce them so that the glory there is, there is something i want to do for some of you god has spoken to you you are the breadwinner in your family a family of over 20 people and god is saying you will feed them as if you are buying recharge card and it does not make sense because you are saying god i didn't even go to school and god is saying can you trust me there are some of you help those under the anointing there are some of you god sent to abuja here you go to abuja with only one ghana must go you are still roaming around wondering i don't know why i'm here if god sent you sit back and watch the monarch of the universe begin to honor your life and honor your obedience commanding the supernatural the integrity of god i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that hmm. the one who speaks and does it the one who speaks and has the ability to defend what he has said businessman don't sit down and use your bank balance to determine whether this year will be a great year or not take your eyes away from those accounting things and look at jesus jesus told you that this year is your year of marvelous light believe it see listen 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 as simple as what i'm teaching you is you will recycle years of stagnation if you cannot believe god you want to know how to believe god study children study children we have some of our little ones here if i call these children now in the midst of this fiery service i call them and say junior how are you fine what do you want aeroplane you hear what the boy is saying i asked him what i wanted he's not going to say lollipop children don't say those things again we were the ones who said those things these children said aeroplane and they mean it they don't mean the type we used to say aeroplane and then you stand there feeling guilty for asking aeroplane and that child will come back with confidence and remind you daddy or uncle or whatever where is my aeroplane you were the only one who thought he was playing in his mind and in his world he believed that for you to have spoken you would have vetted your ability to provide it so when god speaks to you and says man of god from where you are the nations will be hearing your voice don't sit down and say i think i have one auntie in canada there is one uncle who loves me you've already disconnected yourself that is the reason why most times god allows everything we depend on to fail then you come to him and say god are you still saying what you said he said i have not changed you are the only one who was going around looking for my word somewhere else i have not changed when i said i will lift you i meant it when i said i will honor you i meant it i hope god is working your heart tonight so that you believe god there are no guarantees in life anybody that gives you any promise of any guarantees only joking at every point of every man's life there are hours he's asleep and at that time is only the god of the universe who gives life men have promised and were not able to live up to their promise there were people who said in two weeks i will give you an appointment not knowing by the next day they were going to transfer them 
but who transfers God? Who relocates him? Who moves him to another branch? Are we together? Right where you are standing in one minute, lay your hands on your head and cause unbelief. Lord, I'm sorry for not depending on you, for not trusting you. Please follow carefully. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Pray and decree and declare. His integrity. God can be trusted. God can be trusted. God can be trusted. The healer can be trusted. The lifter can be trusted. The blesser can be trusted. The announcer can be trusted. The one who empowers can be trusted. The deliverer can be trusted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Say his ability. That's the next thing. Please sit down. Two attributes of God. Number one is his integrity. His ability to be consistent and stay consistent with what he has said. Number two, his ability. Bible faith is built on the awareness of God's ability. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.